On our international page, let's talk a little about Niger, where we talk about the bunch, okay? Sure, you don't make me fall in love, okay? We have so much interesting music from uh, the bunch, and we not long ago talked about Chidima, who switched from secular music and decided to follow Christ, decided now her name has been changed to Chidima, from Chidima Ekile to Minister Chidima Ekile to Sister Chidima Ekile, and not long ago, the bunch and the wife were spotted giving their life to Christ and choosing to follow just the work and everything that concerns Jesus Christ. This was declared by Pastor Jerry, who welcomed these two into his church. And uh, Ola Dapoyo Daniel Oye Banjo, popularly known as the bunch, has surrendered his life to Christ alongside his wife. His wife's names are Linio Didi Kligro, and as they both attend Pastor Jerry as a church, this is coming few days after fellow Chidima gave her life completely to Christ and made it public of her new life in Christ and her new turn from secular music to gospel music. Pastor Jerry Okechuku Eze is a lead pastor of Streams of Joy International, one of the fastest growing churches in Nigeria. While making the announcement, Pastor Jerry is a took to his Instagram page to share photos of the bunch and his wife during the altar call in Abuja branch of the church. Well, it's like the new trend now is actually Jesus Christ. And we can see most of the artists now, they are turning. Not long ago, Yol Oduchie went online to say that the Lord sent him to Nigeria to vindicate his people, to set his people free. And that is why no matter all the terrorism, no matter the fights in Nigeria, he's never leaving his hometown. That is his fatherland because he has been sent. He has a mission to accomplish there. Keeping aside that, we talk about Chidima who left secular music into gospel and now it's turn of the bunch and the wife. Now the question is, who is next to follow the line? We are waiting and still following the new Skinly to have much more artists giving up their lives to service and to follow Christ. Let's talk about OG Ozu Kalo and AY Makon, who said to build the first uh, movie house and studio in Nigeria. We know about CY, uh, sorry, AY, who is one of the most outstanding comedians in Nigeria. And uh, we know about the way he has been promoting the Niger entertainment industry. Not long ago, AY Corporate World Entertainment is presently working on a partnership agreement to start running Cam Nea, the 400-room estate owned by Senator Oji Ozokalo, as the first ever film studio in Nigeria. The huge estate, which comprises of several units of eye-popping buildings and other exotic structures at Uzo Kalu's home, sorry, at Ugo Karu's hometown of Igbere Bende, LGA in Abia State will now be tourism destination that will also be used for high quality movie production of international standards. That is, when it comes to high movies in Nigeria, when it comes to a home for Niger movies, this is actually the new home for Niger movies. And uh, this is the first time and the first ever homemade uh, a movie house made in Nigeria available for all the actors and actresses. AY indeed is standing so tough and on top to see that actually entertainment industry and movie in Nigeria is successful. We say congratulations to the Nigerians and we say keep doing what you're doing AY Macon. Now let's talk about Whiskey and his son alongside his baby mama. Not long ago, this lady goes online and had to post that I am so proud to have a child with Whiskey, and I can say that my child is actually picking and copying all the footsteps of his father, Whiskey. And not long ago, the first baby mama of Whiskey, o Owan Nishola Ogudo, has disclosed that her son, Bulawan Tife, is about to release his first song and to take over the world. Owan Nishola is a post or in a post disclosed that her baby is trying to follow his father's whiskey's footsteps by becoming an artist and is about to take over the world with his first song which is almost set for him to release. 
According to Olowa Nishola, her baby, Bolu Watife, has mixed and mastered his first solo freestyle and has been shedding tears of joy all day as she cannot actually believe that her own child from her womb can be this talented and indeed blood flows in his veins and in no doubt she can say that this child is coming directly from whiskey. Now, let's keep a little bit down about Whiskey and move to something else where we talk about Timaya. Yes, uh, as again, money from my pocket, Balang say, yes, we know about Timaya. Timaya, not long ago, celebrated the first birthday of uh, a baby from his third baby mama and says that i could not wait actually to have this baby i have been waiting so long to receive this beautiful girl and finally she came and now she's turning one and i can say that i am proud to have you baby and uh, Timaya had this baby with the lady Doni O, and as they celebrate their daughter's first birthday, Nigerian singer Timaya is excited as his daughter named after him Maya clocks one year, and uh, the dancehall singer and Maya, which is third baby mama Doni O, both parents are celebrating their daughter's birthday on social media pages, and the singer shared three photos of the baby and the birthday girl as to her birthday, and he also gave a hint that that he is going to throw a huge party to actually keep celebrating his beautiful baby girl we say congratulations to you and indeed god gives children there are so many people out there who actually every day they are praying to have fruit of the womb but cannot succeed but he already has third baby mamas and it has been noted that most of the artists now it's either they have two baby mamas three baby mamas four baby mamas five baby mamas and even six baby mamas. It's like it's becoming prestige. It's becoming something of uh, like pride. I want to belong having so many baby mamas out there. But like we can always say, people have choices and they know exactly what they want in their lives. Now, let's talk about Zlatan and Davido. In a video, Zlatan mocks Davido's voice and calls his voice Mr. Frog voice and says that actually he does, he does not understand what uh, every of the criteria that people actually judge Davido's music to give him all the awards that he has and every money that he got because his voice is actually like that of a frog and he cannot understand how Davido is managing his musical career with that kind of a voice. Now they were spotted together while Davido was saying something and having a lot of fun. Photos were taken between the two men and not long ago a video was posted of Davido trying to freestyle a music and having fun and uh, just minutes later now Zlatan goes online and says that I cannot understand the kind of artist that Davido is but the only one thing I can understand is this man has a frog voice I don't know what he's trying to send across and we have feedbacks from uh, Nigerians and fans of Davido who say that Omar you the coach person way you don't be a billionaire man way you don't make name all sides so you don't go uh, carry all international tours and you still there one side you call it voice say now frog voice say you where you can't get all the nice voice where you don't go to now it's actually really funny calling a star and a multi-million owner that is davido having a frog voice and yet keeping aside the frog voice davido is still making strides everywhere Topping the news, topping every social media page with his children, Imade, him and Tiwa Savage, and a lot of big stars, even having collabs in Cameroon with Stanley Eno, and having a lot of music out there and good videos with Tenny for you. And now Zlatan is insulting and making a mockery of his voice, calling him having a frog voice. Well, as funny as it is, as actually really surprised as most people are. Some say we cannot deny the fact that actually Davido was not blessed just like Stanley Heno. They have no vocal, they have no voice to show for, but God has blessed them with the money they have and actually they know what showbiz is all about. And now let's get in a little into our Western page where we talk about Ariana Grande. We know about this beautiful young woman. Not long ago, yes, she had a series of relationships and now she finally decides to tie the knot in a very, very, very small ceremony where only 20 people attended the wedding 
and uh, this lady's boyfriend is called Dalton Gomez and they together they had to tie the knot and in an intimate ceremony and popular American pop star Ariana has married her real estate uh, fiance Dalton in a tiny and intimate wedding and the representative of the singer confirmed that the 27 year old Ariana is marrying a 25 year old lover in front of fewer people that is just 20 people over the weekend. The representative told people that they tied the knot in a small intimate wedding where less than 20 people attended and the wedding took place at TMZ that reported that the wedding ceremony was at Grand Property in Monteniso, which is a celebrity hotspot in Southern California and where the Duke and Duchess of uh, Sussex also live. We are saying that, well, it is evident not long ago we we're talking about Sia. Yes, we talk about a lot of celebrities now getting married to younger guys. The other had a 32 year old difference. And now we are talking about Ariana, who is 27 year old and getting married to her boyfriend, who is 25 years old. So, indeed, sometimes you can say that love is not the age and sometimes age is just a number when you find that one special person that makes you a lot more happier that makes you feel friendship and intimacy i guess you should not think about the age well others are saying that if they are saying you should not think about the age and then it is just normal for an 18 year old lady to get married to a 67 year old man that is child abuse well the difference in as much as is not really vast but in the western world we have come to note and to actually consider that age is just a number there because even a 72 year old man can get married to a 20 year old lady and likewise the reverse is true a 72 year old lady can actually get married to a 20 year old boy so it's just the reverse is true and love when it comes to the emotions you actually cannot control it sometimes we talked about madonna we got who got married sorry to uh his boyfriend who was just 26 years old and madonna was already in his late 50s and 60s almost a gap of 36 years 32 years old but they are happy and living so very 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 okay with each other so sometimes in life you make your choices and we are only here to keep investigating all the stars getting vibes for you getting news for you and bringing it on here all right and uh, that was all we gathered for you today on our entertainment news page on cmtv where entertainment is never enough and I promise you that if you get to miss this edition, you can always catch up 6.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. where we do a rebroadcast. And just to remind our gospel artist, with just 10,000 francs, rush here with your video and you stand a chance of having a promotion of a lifetime. And alongside other artists, in case you have adverts, you have your videos, just rush here, get yourselves registered, book us for shows, and we are here to give you everything that you want for yourself. We are available for you anytime allowed us to work for you as slaves okay because here we promote and we promote and we promote we have much more interesting programs coming up your way we have request show and many more stay with us on cmtv for presentation i've been c shantan you can call me shantan max have a blessed wednesday <laughs>